What's going on, everybody? This your boy Slick Fifty today without the hat. <laughs> yes, my hair is grown back. I'm in the brusher phase to get my waves back. So we gonna leave that there. You know, it feel funny having her and no waves. It looks, you know, I don't know. They trying to come in. They trying to come back, but. I want to say something because somebody was asking me, you know, do you drop videos every day or why don't No, They said, why don't I? Man, that's a lot of work. And I'm not afraid of work. It's just that I have two other channels I have to attend to as well. So that's why I drop a video over here every day, every other day or every two days. You know what I'm saying? So just stick with your boy. The content going to keep coming. You know what I'm saying? We're going to keep on rolling. You know what I mean? Uh, Shout out to Toys of Our Youth as usual. Y'all hear me say that every video because I'm very appreciative of them. They don't want to make this channel possible, to be honest with you. Um, you know, so shout out to Mark and the whole fam over there. Um, just good stuff coming. Just know that good stuff is coming. I just drew a blank, but, you know, oh, gloves. <laughs> Y'all like clowning me about my gloves, but it is what it is. So today we got... Barney Rubble, Fred Flintstone, Fruity Pebbles, and Icons. We gonna go ahead and get into that, man. So, I don't, I don't collect Flintstones per se. You know what I'm saying? I know it's probably a lot of booze out there because, you know, I said that or a lot. God of, damn! But at, at the same time, you know what I mean. I love my ad Icons and Fruity Pebbles. Besides Cinnamon Toast Crunch, is my favorite cereal. So. Here we go. I always make this mistake. Hey, keep this dang on filter on. Cut it off. There we go. There we go. No green glowing stuff. There we go. How about that? See that? This is so dope because, well, I'll tell you when I get out the box. Let's just show you the box. Back of the box. Pebbles 50th birthday. Pretty dope. I'm going to tell you why I think these are so clean. Let me show you the other box. Now we have oh, Marty Rubble, Cocoa Pebbles. I'm loving it. You know what I'm saying? I like that they did put the Flintstones at the top, you know. Same thing. Super dope. Oh, my, I'm sorry, people. My people like the top. And they say, you never show the bottom. Well, there you are. My bad. The top. There you go. Let's go and break these open. And so I can tell you why I think these are super dope. Every now and then we get pops that look like pops, but kind of don't resemble pops in a way. We're opening Fred first. Um, and... I'm going to show you why I think it looks like a pop and it doesn't resemble popping away. You know, it's like it's like a, a pop 2.0, if you will. It's kind of like when they had the same body, everybody had the same body, then they switched the bodies up. Now they're adding all these other unique features to pops that is pretty dope. This one's pretty cool. You got the flat head like in the cartoon, look flat. <laughs> the cut is awesome. You got that bold cut. But I'm gonna show you why. My beard got caught on the mic. Now, as you can see, I'm gonna give you a second to point it out. It's his mouth. His mouth. They actually, you know what I'm saying, painted that on, and it's actually awesome. And it kind of like, I don't know, you know, they could have just left it blank if they wanted to, you know what I mean? I like that they put texture in the cereal. You know what I mean? It's it's straight texture. This is dope. They put work on these. And it's a simple pop, but they put work on them. And like I say, I don't collect the Flintstones, but this right here, I was like, oh, I got to have that. I had, did a pre-order over there on Toys R Youth um, on Facebook, the Facebook group. Had to put the pre-order in. Had to. You could do it too. Head on over there. Toys of R Youth on Facebook, man. All right, we got 
Fred over there, man. Let's go and give him that two way while I show you and while I'm opening Barney. But I mean, it's dope, man. You can't deny that it's dope. If you don't got these in your your ad icon collection, I don't know what you're doing. Um, do I see these going up in the future? Yes, I do. I do. They're gonna be a staple like Yummy Mummy and Fruit Brute and all that stuff. Why I don't have Fruit Brute or Yummy Mummy because they're expensive, or the metallics. I wish one day I could. You know what I'm saying? Now Barney is super simple. You know they all they both had the same cut haircut, but he's just brown. But he is Barney, dude. He is Barney, and I'm telling you, it looks just like him, despite the beady eyes. And I want to say, yeah, and I like the shiny, like the gloss on her eyes. I think that helps set it off as well. Sometimes the eyes don't be glossed on some, some, and some do. Like I'm looking at my um Fred, his eyes is somewhat glossy, but this dude's eyes is super glossy. Now, if that's intentional, that's awesome. If it isn't, you know, no biggie. But check it out, man. And it's crazy. It's like a simple pot where you would think they would look alike, but they don't. They don't from his eyebrows it's up under his bangs. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. You would think they would look just alike, but to me, they look different. To so somebody going to say, oh, they're the same pop, just painted different. Nah. I mean, the mold's the same. That's a fact. But, I mean, you get what I'm saying. Fred looks like Fred and Barney looks like Barney. You know what I mean? Just great. Great. Let's check them out, y'all. I'm going to try to put them on here. Let y'all get a good look. We got them both on there. I want to know what you guys think, though. Do you think this is worth getting? Do you think they're going to, you know, come up, go up in price or no? What, what what do you think? Do you think they look exactly alike? Do you think you could just settle with Fred in your collection? Let me know down in the comments, man. But I actually think these are beautiful pops. Some of the best ad icons that come out, even though they're flooding the ad icon world, not the, um, I think they need to slow down, which I think they're going to do. You hear me? I think they're going to slow down. But um, we got, like I said, also, um, I bought a lot of horror. And uh, we're going to have some throwbacks on here, man. So stay tuned for that, too. Some throwbacks that you may never seen before, like Army of Darkness. Um, I have a Lost Boy uh, Target exclusive. Leatherface, the first Leatherface, the crow. You know, we have a Sharknado. So, I never had these pops. I recently purchased these pops. And I am going to do videos on some of them. Some of the boxes are kind of old and soft. So, I won't be opening them, but I probably will show them. Um, like, I have the original Golden Girl set, and the boxes are kind of soft. So, I probably won't be opening those, but I will show you guys what I have. You already know that. So, like I said, stay tuned. More great stuff is coming. Let's go and put these guys on the big screen, man. Yo, Hawk always, Hawk always wanted all, man. You know what I'm saying? But, Hawk, sorry, it's not about you. It is about these guys right here. Right there. Oh, my God. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. This is your boy Slick50, man, for popping vinyl, man. Y'all be easy. Until the next one. Deuces.